Well, welcome back once again. You know, Brad Paff is set to become our next Secretary of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. And recently, he shared with me the potential he sees for our state ag industry, especially in the area of trade. Mexico is uh, the largest um, export destination for Wisconsin dairy products. Uh, Canada is a very important uh, export market as well. China is a, in Southeast Asia, is a continuing growing uh, market uh, for Wisconsin agriculture products. Now a key element of being a growing exporter is our state's transportation system. I'm from rural across county in far western Wisconsin. And um, in order for our product to leave our uh, farm, it had to, before it got to a, a state highway, it was on numerous county highways with bridges. Um, it is extremely important that we continue to invest in our transportation system. All forms of transportation we need to invest in. If we are going to take these amazing products that our family farmers are growing on their farm and is being processed in these, in these local manufacturers in Wisconsin, if we're going to take that to national and international markets, we need to make sure that we have a transportation system that meets the needs of a 21st century economy. And going hand in hand with an improved transportation system is a cutting edge communication system. Uh, we need to make sure that regardless of way, where someone may live, regardless of their zip code, that they have an opportunity in order to participate in the 21st century economy. A 21st century economy includes um, you know, high speed internet and you know, communication systems that is immediate. We cannot have people um, and expect uh, people for, uh, to live in areas and to invest in areas that don't have a uh, 21st century communication system. The secretary is in agreement with the governor that clean water has to be a statewide priority. We recognize how important water is. Farmers recognize how important water is. They realize that um, in order for them to grow and to succeed um, as a individual farm, but as an agriculture community, that they need to um, you know, recognize the importance of water. We need to find balance when it comes to our water policy. We need to make sure that agriculture uh, feels that their voices are being heard and they have a seat at the table. But in, in the meantime, we also need to make sure that agriculture recognizes and understands the larger concerns that, the, um, that everyone has because water is important for all of us. And as he prepares to lead DADCAP, PATH sees numerous opportunities for his department. We can do things at DADCAP that impact water supply for everyone. We have an opportunity to, at DADCAP in order to be involved in uh, next generation energy production. We have an opportunity at DADCAP in order to provide hands-on research capabilities for education. We have an opportunity at DADCAP in order to help family farmers and rural communities create new industries to meet the changing consumer needs and demands of the 21st century. DACAP is the center point. Brad Paff, a new voice, but a familiar position on continuing to grow Wisconsin agriculture here in our state and beyond. Well, thanks for watching this edition of Midwest Farm Weekly. Don't forget that big Holstein Convention in Manitowoc coming up. Also, the USDA Outlook Forum will be held this week. And coming up also, National FFA Week. We want to salute all of the members and everyone involved with the FFA. Have a great weekend. Thank you for watching Midwest Farm Weekly, presented by Focus on Energy. Focus on Energy, partnering with Wisconsin Utilities.